Has the webcam in the studio display been fixed? Decide for yourself in this video. Presenting the Tech I Am. With Don Bullock. Welcome to the Tech I Hound. I'm Don. If you want the latest Apple news, plus tips, tricks, and tutorials on Apple products, please subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. As you can see behind me, I have the Mac Studio Max, and I also bought the Studio Display. One of the reasons that I bought the Studio Display was because of the webcam. But as many of you have heard, the quality of the video from the webcam is marginal at best. According to The Verge, Apple's 1599 Studio Display arrived last month with big promises about the webcam, which features a 12 megapixel sensor, a 12.4 ultra-wide lens, and the same A13 chip that's in the iPhone 11. The Verge article went on to say, unfortunately, it shipped with buggy software that made everything look bad. Apple told us it wasn't behaving as expected and promised us an update soon. On April 26th, Mac Rumors stated, Apple today released a beta version of new 15.5 firmware designed for the studio display. The article went on to say, according to Apple's release notes, the firmware refines camera tuning, offering improved noise reduction, contrast, and framing. On May 10th, Apple Insider stated, now that Mac OS 12.4 has been released out of its beta cycle, we can see how the corresponding update to the studio display performs and whether or not significant performance improvements have come to fruition. The rest of this video was recorded using the webcam on the studio display, so you can draw your own conclusions on Apple's webcam fix, as well as hear some of my comments. First, before I get to the updates that Apple has made to the webcam for the studio display, I thought I'd give you a little example of the microphone that's built into the studio display. I'm not extremely happy with it. It's a nice microphone, has good input, I'm looking at a meter over here on my screen and it's not pegging out, but it's not the greatest sound either when I listen to it on the playback. So it'd be nice if Apple would tweak the microphone for the webcam. I'm going to switch over to my Blue Yeti and see if that's any better. And if it is or isn't, you can tell me in the comments down below. Okay, I'm back uh, with the webcam test and showing you exactly what the webcam looks like. I'm now using my uh, Blue Yeti microphone in front of me. I think the sound for this is quite a bit better and it's something that I would use if I use the webcam. So this is a test of the webcam and you can see exactly what it looks like. And this is the improvement that Apple made. So some people will say this improvement is good and some won't like it as much. We'll say more about that as we go along here. The webcam on the studio display has what they call center stage. Some of you have seen that demonstrated on iPads, but center stage simply follows me around. So if I move over here into uh, what we call our dining room area, uh, I picked up by the camera. The camera picks me up over here. I'm hoping the microphone is picking me up as well. But I can also move back to the center and see how it, well it centers me up and not too bad. I came right back to the center and it looks like they picked me up pretty well. So that looks good. Then I can also move over in this direction. And uh, this is where we have my uh, iMac, my older iMac is over here on this desk, so I have both computers available to me at one time. So it's really nice and handy having this old iMac, even though I'm not using it for recording, I do have it over here for other tasks. So that's center stage. So we'll see if it picks me up again and puts me in the center. Now one thing I've noticed is sometimes you have to go like this, well, well the wrong way, Sometimes you have to go like that to get it back to the center, but that's center stage. 
and that center stage, just the normal regular center stage that's on the iPad as well as now the studio display. Now this is the webcam in what they're calling portrait mode. This is portrait mode like they have on the iPhone. But uh, portrait mode you know, blurs the background and you can see that back there. Um, I might be a little fuzzy around the edges too. I'm not quite sure how exact it is. The one thing that I've noticed though about portrait mode that I didn't see in the center stage is they haven't fixed the headroom at the above me. There's too, way too much headroom. So that's something that Apple's going to need to work on. They did say that they worked on that, but they didn't work on it in the portrait mode camera, at least not that I can see. Now that we're back at center stage mode, let's look at some of the things that Apple said they were going to fix. The first fix that Apple said they were going to do is noise reduction. I'm going to zoom in here on my face a little bit so that you can see that there's still some noise on my face especially. It sort of looks splotchy. It doesn't look that splotchy in real life, I can tell you. So the noise is still there. I'm seeing it especially on my face. So Apple, did they fix the noise reduction? Maybe a little bit, but not quite enough. They also said they're going to work on contrast. Now, I can say contrast has improved. Now, some people are complaining that the contrast got to the point where the blacks are too deep, but I'm not noticing that. Of course, they were wearing black shirts or gray shirts that look black or something like that, but I'm not noticing that in this video right now. And the other thing was framing. And the biggest issue with framing was there was way too much headroom. There was way too much room above the head. Now, some people would like less headroom than what we see here. Um, I could use a little less headroom, but the headroom was much better than it was. Speaking of the headroom, I've noticed that the headroom can be changed if you want to. And it's kind of an interesting way to do it. But if I want to get the headroom up above me up here a little wider, I can do this. You can see the camera followed me up, but it's not coming all the way back down. It also didn't center me well. I have to uh, move a little bit uh, over to this whoop, wrong direction again that direction to get me centered up. Now, if I want to lessen that headroom up above me and I'm in center stage, I can do this. And you can see that the headroom came back. In fact, I might even have a little less headroom than I did before. So that's a little trick that you can do with center stage that you can't do with portrait mode to improve the headroom in the video. Since I just mentioned the headroom in the portrait mode, I thought I'd go back and review that just real quickly, but you can see all the excess up there. And most people, most critics just don't think that's acceptable at all. And they expect to have much less headroom on their videos. For most of you, if you were doing a Zoom call, you wouldn't even notice the difference. Now, the other thing that I have noticed about the Studio Display webcam is the coloring. I think they're a little washed out. It's a little hard to tell in this portrait mode though. So let's go back to the uh, center stage mode without the portrait mode and see what it looks like there. Now with that portrait mode turned off, we can see the colors in the background and see if they look in any better. And I can say that the colors, especially those in the background are looking pretty good. Um, I'm a little washed out and that could be because of the lighting. I tried, by the way, to put a circle light above me over in the front, and that almost turned me orange, and yet it's set to daylight. So I have a window over on this side that's shining in. I have a light that's up here in a ceiling fan of all things, but it works pretty well. And I have a desk lamp over here with a warm bulb in it. So I do have some light coming from, especially from the left, and that just gives my face some definition. I don't have real fancy studio lighting. And so this is what the webcam coloring will look like when you're taking videos of yourself or you're doing Zoom calls or whatever you're doing. This is my normal lighting. I'm not doing anything special as far as studio lighting. So if I did some special studio lighting, maybe the colors would come back a little bit better. Um, when I'm using my uh, 
Canon camera, I am using a ring light and I am in, in addition to these light sources that I have. So that may make the coloring a little different. I'm not quite sure. But uh, I do know the coloring here is a little washed out and Apple might be able to tweak that a little bit. I don't know. One thing that I've noticed that other people haven't seemed to talk about is the fact that you can also have center stage and portrait mode turned on at the same time. This will still follow me around if I move around in the picture. See if I can get myself centered back up a little bit here. So this is portrait mode, but also center stage. And what's really nice for me is I've noticed that the headroom is what it's like in a regular center stage mode. So I can mix the two and get the right headroom at the top until Apple decides to fix the headroom on the portrait mode. So now, as while I was playing around with that center stage mode, I thought, well, what would happen if I turned center stage and portrait mode off? And you can see the results here. And when we go back to talking about headroom, you can see I have way too much headroom up here, about the same amount of headroom that's available in portrait mode. So that didn't fix it. So what you need to do if you want less headroom is to use the center stage mode without the portrait mode if you don't want the blurred background and to use the center stage with the blurred background using the portrait mode if that's what you want. But this doesn't work. There's headroom above me that's just not supposed to be there. So I'm back to the center stage mode. I think this is the mode that most people will use. I don't think a lot of people are going to like that blurry background. To me, it's a little over blurred. Uh, they could use the center stage and the blurry background if they want, if they can figure that out. That's not something that I've seen people talk about. But uh, did Apple fix the webcam, I guess is the big question. Um, there is some improvement. I can say that definitely there is some improvement that I'm seeing in the webcam. Now, some others are saying it's still terrible and they may be right. It may be that Apple can improve it some more and maybe they will. With that computer chip built into the studio display, they can play around with it a little bit. They have made some improvements. There's definitely some improvements that have been made. So could they make some more? Sure. Well, you've heard my opinion about what Apple has done with the webcam on the studio display. What's your opinion? What do you think? Have they really improved it? Have they fixed it? If this was the webcam that you had on the display that you have at home, would you be satisfied with it or would you want it to be fixed? Now, of course, what's really nice with the studio display is Apple can tweak it. We've already seen that. They've already done it. So we know that they can tweak it and they can fix some more things with the studio display webcam. And uh, perhaps that's something that's really in their favor as opposed to a lot of the other webcams that are out there. So let me know in the comments section down below what you think. I'd like to know what you think about this webcam and whether you'd be satisfied with it. So that would be interesting for me to read. And I'm sure others will be looking at that too and seeing what you say down in the comments section below. I'm back in center stage with the portrait mode turned on. So you can see a little bit more of what I was talking about, about the blurred background. As with any YouTube video, if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up down below. I greatly appreciate that if you would. In the comments section down below, please ask some questions or make some comments. I'd like to know what you want me to cover on this channel, and I can't do that if you don't comment or ask questions. So please do that below, and thank you all very much for watching. Over here. Over here, come on. Hi, sweetie. Well, that's Lexi, too. Hi, girls. How you doing? How you doing, huh? Are you good girls? Yeah, we're good girls. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs>